your presence attacks their pride. Chosen ones. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, chosen ones. So look. You know, if you're someone who's chosen, right? You have the light. Of, you have the light of Christ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chosen ones. Like you have the light of Christ. Uh inside of you right and that light shines normally like day to day day in day out you shining you feel me and uh so whenever you go around people chosen ones uh especially someone who is prideful you dig what i'm saying there's a like you know just like it's demonic spirits out here you got the spirit of pride you know what i'm saying chosen ones uh uh and you don't even got to do anything. Like, you don't go around people. And it's not like you go around them and you intentionally try to humble them or you say something to, to humble them. You just literally just being yourself. <clears throat> uh, people, uh, it's, it's not even that you say anything, right? It's all in your presence. It's all in your presence. So you probably chosen ones seeing people uh, in your life where you'll go around, right? And they'll just start comparing themselves to you. Like, I, I've been, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I've been seeing this since a young age. Like, I'm saying, oh, bro, you, you mad skinny or, you feel me? How I look next to him? Am I bigger than him? Da, 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 da. Bro, you need to get your weight up. Da, 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 da. And this is obviously when I was younger because these days ain't nobody talking to me like that, bro. You might just be like, I'm going to just look you up and down. I bet. Cool. I ain't never hanging around you. And that's kind of how it was back then. But now it's just grown men. You know what I'm saying? It definitely ain't happening. But people still try, you know, and they don't even, that's just an extreme case because that happened when I was younger. But like, I'm just showing y'all it been happening and being a bully. Like even when y'all have a bully in, in middle school, high school, I mean, fre uh, elementary school, it just be the coolest kid. That God probably got all the girls before you got there. But when you got there, you feel me? He fit, he immediately sensed competition. And as I grown older, I feel like the world, they, uh, God say, as people, you know, as time goes on, the world will get weaker and wiser. So you got to think about it like that, chosen ones. Like when you out of high school, people are no longer being so much so aggressive and confidently challenging you, but they're more so covertly, you know what I'm saying? Witch and warlockly type type deal, you know, throw a little thing in, a little thing in here and there, or maybe not even throw something in, but just try to lead lead the interaction. And I notice that often, especially me being being a guy. I know women do it too a lot, but I'm just saying, like as us guys too, you know what I'm saying? I learned like, man, just just play the back scene, bro. Just let people think they're leading, bro, because you know, obviously. Uh, the truth being the pudding, right? This is what this is what all the unalpha male men don't realize, right? And this could work, chosen ones, with your family, with the women in your family, and this could work with just guys in general. When you really set yourself up to be the best version of yourself, and then like no capping, like I'm working on myself, I'm getting my financials right, even all the red pill stuff out here, all that stuff. Like, if you really on that. Five months in, ten months in, almost a year in, and and not just that, but like getting in the word of God, like all everything you just going on this big old binge of working on yourself, chosen ones. I'm telling you, a lot of people gonna fall off like the leaves on the tree anyway, and then the rest of the people who can sit with you, they're not gonna be your friends. They might be slick competitors, but truth be told, you don't need nobody, chosen ones, but yourself, like. And if I'm going to be cool with somebody, it's going to be people who I feel like really, really, uh, they got to have some form of loyalty towards me. Like, And so you got to learn how to talk to people, too. Uh, if I find myself around somebody, though, who's trying to lead, always trying to, you can't, you can't always be trying to lead with me. Like, I, I respect somebody who naturally doing it, though.
if you naturally doing it, then I'm like, okay, cool. Because you a man, like I'm a man, you probably just, you feel me? Supposed to be like that. But if I find that you, you just like low key, the energy off, then it's a sign. It's a sign for me. Like, you're just going to try to always be the top down around me. Like, no, I don't got time for that. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. All the alpha male is the strongest person in the room. It's not necessarily one person. It's just, are you stronger than the rest of the people? It's like, as humans, we are a default type of people. Like, think about women. If a, if a girl goes to this school, she's going to find somebody to mate with. If she goes to this school, she's still going to find somebody to mate with. Same thing with guys. We go here, we're going to do it. We go there, we're going to do it. So we people, it's not like God made us where we have to only see one person as everything. So you could meet an alpha male at this school and then go over this school. It's a different alpha male. So it's a it's subjected based on probability because if that alpha male something happened to him he go to jail he get locked up then someone else gonna rise to the you feel me or y'all just gonna be a bunch of crabs in the bucket or whatever but i'm going off track chosen ones all i'm saying is you could create your own life and not deal with people who think they're better than you or try to lead you because they could be coming from an evil spirit or they could just be literally just like that. Because me, personally, I think I'm literally like that. Like, But I'm learning to just calm down. Because you don't got to be territorial. That comes out of the lizard brain. You know, I told you in the last video, it's, it's the monkey brain, the human brain, and the lizard brain. The lizard and the monkey brain gets us into all type of trouble. And the human brain is the best one. But like I said... Us men, we, I guess, you know, we're trained to be territorial on one hand. And then on the other hand, we're trained to, to be more submissive nowadays. But I find I'm best here because I'm level-headed. And I'm just thinking, like, is this person best for me? Nah, I'm weighing it out. You know, I might spend 24 hours with you and see how the day go. But if you just laid back and you just chilling, I can't really knock you. You, you feel me? You ain't giving me nothing and I can't knock you. But if you too too pushy or if you too like weird vibe, then it's like I can't do nothing with that. So it gotta be balanced. And I'm always gonna be checking the balance of it. Like, I'm always gonna be, okay, they do this or they don't do that. They do this, they but they don't do that. Because like I said, it's a certain amount of people on the planet. And we got to be more resourceful as an adult than we had that, than we could have been as a, a child. But I put my money first. This is how I live my life now. Put my money first, then everything. But God is first, but then the money, then everything. You feel me? God, my health, then my money. Then it go like family and friends, you know, but it's priorities. So, like I said, watch out for them demonic people who come and they just want to compete. They just want to compete. Uh, I said, so, so chosen ones, they'll compete with you. You'll notice them because they'll compete with you over little things. Think about it. When you first meet somebody, y'all don't got no business together. Y'all don't got no money invested. Y'all don't got the... Y'all haven't gone and, and and linked up with the same women yet, same, like sisters, like yeah, like friends that are women together. Y'all haven't drunk beers together. So when you first meet somebody, you could clean see, okay, bet they trying to take initiative. Okay, cool. I'm going to let them have their way. Oh, but wait, hold on. Just because you see, it's not what you did, it's how you're doing it because you're trying to take the initiative, but you're also trying to, you're trying to, try, trying to check and tell me personal details about myself and stuff I need to do versus asking more questions. I pay attention to that. If I'm just meeting you first day, we just get to talking. Why ain't you asking me? Right? That's, that's more respect. I, 
I understand we come meeting on these type of terms, but ask me some questions to show me that you think that I am a man. Maybe you don't think I'm a man. Maybe you think I might be a punk. So then maybe you should speak up. But see, people, let me tell you how the United States work. Or life in general. Ulterior motive. Nice guys. Smile on your face, but then put a needle in your back. Get you on the, uh, later on. So they want to talk in your face and, and act like it's all good. But I've seen it all my life. I've seen it all my life. So so, so if I've seen it all my life, like I told you, I'm already at the first meeting. I'm, you don't even know how deep I'm, I'm, I'm measuring you. You don't even know how deep my mind and how many, how often I've been in this case and scenario. And I, and I don't set myself up to be able to already know not to ever hit you up or to deal with you. Because my, look, the same thing go with dating women. Where one won't, another one will, right? Where this girl would never cook for you, this girl would. Where this girl would, all, where your mother would always argue with you, that, that one girl that you probably turned down when you was younger, she would have never argued with you in your life. You would have been in top shape. You would have been. So it's like, we all going through the same people. I don't care if you're in a different city. We all running into the same prototypes. It's based on how you uh, do with what you get, but what you do with what you get. So I, I, I wouldn't just throw somebody away, but I would put somebody in a certain position where it's like, okay, I hang with you on Fridays. And I might not even hang with you. I might just FaceTime you. That's... To me, that's good. That's be I'm doing better than the people who ain't outside at all, right? So don't nobody can't tell me what to measure my life. But chosen ones, watch out for everybody, because any my spirits go through any and everybody. So this is why spirituality is so beautiful, because you thought I was only measuring you on physical and mental capabilities, but I was looking at. All, all measures, all measures. And I did it, I did it within a five minute chop up because I'm like that. Chosen ones. It'd be the little things. This is probably, and that's what I'm saying. If you want to argue with me over who could cook better popcorn, then I'm going to be like, bro, I ain't never trying to really hang with you again. Sorry. You might think I'm an a-hole, but you're going to respect me. Now listen. Chosen ones. This is probably the most annoying thing about being chosen. Not everyone, not only the presence, but you treat people all the same. Like I just got done telling y'all. And whenever you do this, people will feel insecure. Like we don't take no picks, chosen ones. Like, like how most fake people, they pick and choose and they, excuse my friends, they deride, they, they, they be like, oh, I could never do this to this person, but I'll do this to this person. You don't play like that. You be like, man, listen. You be like, man, listen. I'm a, I, I am on some ride or die stuff because that's, look, that's how, that's how my people are. Like that's how families and and that's how life is in general. But you also recognize that the people who you would have did anything for are, are wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? You seen some of the ugliest, heinous stuff on planet earth, right? Bad things happen to good people. And it's almost like it got to, it almost like scientifically, where else is the bad stuff going to attack? It got to attack. So you might have been good, but guess what? Every day, every dog got his day where it's going to see a different perspective. So then guess what? You get to look in that stuff like, okay, bet. Well, if certain karma, karmatic things go happen, I'm still a nice guy. It's just, I couldn't stop everything. And then so, but that still can make your mind conditioned to accept that life is stronger than us. We visitors here on earth. So I'm just a part of the life. Like, 
I'm just a part of it. I'm not even, I'm like a, a speck of an atom on the whole thing. So now it's like, chosen ones, you, uh, you don't treat everybody different. You treat everybody the same because you recognize that I'm going to be a fake if I ever do that. Because life granted you a certain hand, chosen ones, where, like, I used to, I used to, I, I always treated everybody the same, I feel like. Only thing was, which makes me a liar, is that I, I used to treat certain ones who were already weak and, and bullied, meaning they would do it to themselves, basically, because their confidence was so low. And I'm talking like childhood. I'm not talking as I grew older. But like people who would just do it and put themselves in, it's like almost like some people were so weak that it was like the universe was pushing me towards it. Like, cause I was a nice guy the whole time, but I'm just saying it's almost like the universe was like, if you don't bully this person, you're going to look weak. So it was one of those things like, but that's childhood. You feel me? And it's still life, but it's childhood. You feel me? But. I don't fault myself for weak stuff as a child. I fought myself for 18 and up. If you if you weak when you growing, like this is like faulting myself for being weak when I go to the gym to lift weights. I'm supposed to be weak. I ain't never did this before. But then when I'm really in there, huh, huh, okay. Now, if I'm weak now, then I'm just doing something stupid. Somebody come give me some advice. I don't know what I'm doing. And that's how it is. I'm, I'm not a bully. You feel what I'm saying? But every dog got his day. So I could be a good guy and still get picked on at the end of the day. Because life really ain't playing with nobody. But because I know that, how can I keep being nice? I'm only as nice. Look, I'm nice to people who nice to me. But I'm not going to be nice just because you was nice to me. Because the way life is in general is a monster in general. So, like, just because you being nice, I'm a look, best thing I could do for somebody is try to tell them, like, yo, you a nice person. You should either recognize who I am or, or leave me alone. But I'm not going to drag you through the mud. If I know that my life is heading in a direction that is, you know. So chosen ones. Because you treat everybody the same, it'll cause people uh, 